say, but whatever stupid beast! The wounds on this corpse are deep, the result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast.
Step back, sir. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? As I told you, I'm a doctor. You have to work a lot to earn that title. Oh, a doctor. Hmm, born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker, or a doctor himself? Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Course I am. Fuck, you're so blind! You don't even see your privilege! Lazy people like you disgust me. What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what, just spend a few weeks here, and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. If you have something to say, say it. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh. 
You want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh, your manners, your clothes, your words tell me everything about you, sir. I know your kind, and you don't belong here. Oh no, Miss Paxton, you really don't know my kind. You have no idea who I am. All right, okay. No need to get all worked up. You speak of strikes and class enemy. Am I right to assume you're involved in trade union activism? You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions, especially when it's a woman. Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pants. Do you need medical help, Miss Paxton? No, thank you. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Good evening, Miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks? <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town? You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. What can you tell me about the Sad Saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the Sad Saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he's not always sad. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself? Better watch your back, Mr. Reed. You really think I should go back to a safer place, Miss? No. I think you would better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. 
A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Shornhampton Shelter. No one would dare to be violent there. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Come now, Lottie. There is still much work to do. Why the long face, Doctor? Is it all that worries you, Sean? My long face? Really? This is a blessing for me to become a Skull. Immortality gives me more time and energy, if truth be known, to run a shelter. What more could I want? Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. Wonders never cease. Scal managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you? Yet you restrain? And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day, so saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh, no blood. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. Oh. 
People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I have to see for myself. But your sense of purpose and calm gives me some relief. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything sus... Do you need my medical attention, sir? I appreciate your concern, but I'm perfectly fine, thank you. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Demon! 
It's not human!
So that's it. These wheels control the water level.
can't believe I'm doing this. I have this thirst for blood. believe I'm doing this. Maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again? The one they call the Sewer Dog? Hold your tongue, new boy, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally! A touch of lucidity. Learn to respect the laws of Ascalon!
ghoulish Echon! <laughs> to the pissing well! At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath.
The poor creature is bleeding to death. He cannot be far. How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. We are still. Drink now. Bless you, Bridget. This isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget, and this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn, Egon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Egon, but I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, 
enrages them. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the sewer skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack. But her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. 
She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. to wander above some years back. It was unpleasant. Oh, Bridget, allowed me to wander above some years back. It was unpleasant. to trust. Keep your distance, Echo! Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. Oh, my, my body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Does the pain ever stop? It is not... Your room. To see it. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tick. <laughs> 